There we go. Okay. It's working now. Hello. Hello. Hi, puppy dogs. So I was petting Winston, and he has um, a, a mat behind his ear. Uh -huh. So I went into the carport, and I grabbed the little clippers. Uh -huh. And he's let me do it for a little bit, and then he got up and walked away. And so then I playfully started chasing after him, and we started... Uh -huh. Running and he would like I would chase after him and he would run away. Then Levi would come over and get Winston. But now every time I come up to Winston with anything in my hand, he takes off. Like I'm gonna come like, back. You gonna play with the no with the clippers? He oh. thinks I have clippers. Oh, buddy! I tried to get this little mat right. There's this big one. mat. That's on this side. And there's the one over here too. Uh oh. Yeah. He's got mats on both sides. He's got one right there. Yeah. All right, buddy. I have to take the scissors to you or the mat breaker. Yeah. We made it through the weekend. I don't know, Katie, Katie barely made it through the weekend. I barely made it through the weekend. She was rough. Yeah. I feel a little better today. That's good, because I was thinking that if it kept getting, wor not worse, but not any better, like she might have had bronchitis mm. or something like that, and it's gonna take her to the urgent care. But she says that she feels better today than she did yesterday. So I'm going to let her have one more day. And if she's not making remarkable improvements, remarkable, remarkable improvements, then we are going to go to the urgent care Yeah. to check her for bronchitis. Yeah. Cause it's all, it's, it's when I bend over, I get like a pretty bad cough and I get out of breath pretty easily. So we'll see. Yeah, you can't even walk over to the red barn without like. No, I was I was I get pretty winded pretty quick. I yeah. mean, more so than normal. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not the most athletic girl. <laughs> let's be, let's be fair. <laughs> yeah. Um, weekend. So let's start with the weekend. Yesterday, I spent. So while Katie was dying in bed. I was not dying. <laughs> uh, I spent the day filming and editing a promotional video for another Blue Eddy product. Um, Blue Eddy likes us. <laughs> we like Blue Eddy. Yeah, and so that's a nice... It's a nice win-win. Yeah, <clears throat> so we did another promotional item for them. And that, I think it's gonna come out today, your guys' is today or tomorrow, mm -hmm. I think. That's the supposed to be the launch date for it. Yeah. So that was that was pretty much my all day yesterday, except for I'm standing where bugs are. Sta where, where bugs are. Let's well, just, let's you just have do to a, just keep walking. A little walk. Yep. We're not going to do a lot of walk, um, except for in the evening at 5:30, went up to our neighbors and we had Easter dinner. Unfortunately, Katie stayed back because she was coughing up a lung, and yeah, I don't like, want to get anyone sick. Yeah, probably. I don't it, think I'm contagious because you haven't gotten. You're sick. probably not contagious, but it's not nice at dinner time <laughs> to be like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you weren't. <sick. laughs> That's what I keep doing. Yeah, you weren't sounding very good. So she stayed home. Yeah. So I went up to the neighbors and had a really good dinner, and it was just great just to hang out up there and Get take away a little from bit, me. Of, take a little time away from the homestead and the sick wife. <laughs> I didn't say it. Uh, yeah, you did. I did not say it. I said the homestead. Uh huh. Um, Saturday. What did we do Saturday? What did you do yesterday? Um, Rest. Yeah, yesterday I, I kind of took it easy and I rested. I don't think I did. I didn't do anything major yesterday. Um, but they were nice enough, the neighbors were nice enough to make me a to-go plate. So I was able to enjoy it by myself on the couch <laughs> at like 8 p.m. when Nate got home. Yeah. <laughs> so that was nice. Yesterday I just, I don't think I did much of anything yesterday. I, t I mean, I tended to the babies, like made sure they the had food chips. and, yeah, made sure they had food and water several times throughout the day. Make but sure that was... That was pretty much it. I didn't really have the energy. Nate helped out and did my evening chores or collected the eggs for me. Yeah, I took them all to the neighbors. Uh-huh. All six dozen, six dozen eggs that I took to the neighbors for dinner, well, wow. while I went to dinner. And I still threw at least a dozen to the chickens as I was gathering them. And you didn't collect and from I didn't, down here. I didn't even collect from down here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a good <coughs> it's a good problem to have. Yeah. Uh, what did we do Saturday? Do you have any idea what we did Saturday? We went to town. We went to look at implements. Saturday morning. Yeah, Saturday morning, because everything closes at like at noon around here <laughs> on Saturdays. And nothing's open on Sundays. And nothing's open on Sundays. Yeah. Yeah, so noon or early Saturday morning, we went and looked 
went to two locations and looked at tractor implements. I didn't buy any of them. What, what's going I'm on? I'm just trying to see what kind of bug you got going oh. on. Um, but then what did we do after we got home? Because we were home by, well, we went into town, we got you cough drops. Yeah, we got- Throat lozenges. Got some cough drops and- hey, buddy. I didn't. I didn't do much of anything else Saturday either. I was pretty, I mean, I did some chores. I collected eggs and stuff. I can just tell you it was unremarkable. Yeah. It was unremarkable. It wasn't a lot. I mean, <laughs> I really haven't felt good. And it's been a long time since I've been sick or down. Mm -hmm. And I'm still, you know, trying to hold my own, but man. Yeah, you, you're. It's, it's been rough. Yeah. It's been hard. Yeah, you're <laughs> like it. As Nate says, I'm hamming it up. <laughs> <clears throat> well, she. My when voice. She, when, yeah, okay, I'm not gonna even go there. Uh -huh. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, so we ended up doing some chicken chicken shuffling and chicken moving. We did some of that today. We mm -hmm. put um, these. Oh, this was this weekend. Yeah, we put these little guys, girls, I don't know what they are. I think it's three pullets and two roos. In here, these little ones, they were in the brooder, but now they're feathered out enough to where they can be outside in uh, Avatuan. So those guys went in there and so then- Those are four Rhode Island Reds and one Barnyard Mix. And the Barnyard Mix is those little Bantam, uh, the itty bitty Bantam Cochins, those frizzles. Yeah. One of those is the mama and the dad is a black Osterlorp that we no longer have. <laughs> They're sitting on eggs. Mm -hmm. They <clears throat> Today they hatched or yesterday or whatever. They hatched okay. two little baby, little baby barnyard chicks. Mm -hmm. From this, from our, this group. From our free range group. And <laughs> it was really cute. With those three plus this little um, leg bar. bar that we have yeah. in here. Oh, there she is, she's right here. This little leg bar. This leg bar has been in here with the um, frizzles since Sang was here when we were processing the pigs. Cause Sang and I were um, collecting eggs and this little girl. She's just not been the most healthy. No, she, when she runs, she basically like falls to the ground. We thought she was egg bound and, she's but she's not egg bound, but she really just can't run. Like if she gets, see, she just, she just stops. Poor little girl. So she just stays in with these little tiny chicks yeah. so that she doesn't get picked on. But she was up there. Yeah, she was. She in was, the, in the nesting box, sitting on the eggs or them. sitting on the chicks while the other three were sitting on eggs. Yeah, and it was so cute, but she was overheating. Yeah. Because it's it was 80 something degrees today and she was overheating. So I took her out because she was so hot and she was panting. Mm -hmm. And we took the two chicks out also because <laughs> what we didn't, I was like, why is there so many green eggs in there? Oh yeah. I only put one green egg in there. Well, we have Miss Olivia. I don't know where Miss Olivia I is. I don't see oh, her. She's oh, in, she's, she's in, in there. I see her butt. Yeah, one of our, one of our olive OG. egger, um, OG chicks. She decided that she wanted to lay her eggs in there. Yeah. And so she jumps up over the netting, goes in, lays an egg, and then can't figure out how to get. And back then out. can't get it back out. And then the bantam girls that are in there, the frizzles, whatever. Mm -hmm. They scoop it under the under them, and yeah. they start sitting on them. So now we have eggs in there that are probably no more than two or three days old. Yeah, at most. And she was in there again that today. Right there. The, the gray it's just one. her. The, That's the gray one. The blue one. So she. Yeah, so we took, so that's why we took the babies out because they were still concentrating on the eggs and not paying attention to the babies. Yeah. And since we just hatched out some barnyard mix in the incubator, they're only about two days difference, close enough. I tossed them in with those ones, they're doing great. We gently placed them in after we dipped them in water. <laughs> we did all the right things. <laughs> there was no tossing, <laughs> just, just to be clear, there was no tossing. There might've been a little tossing. <laughs> no. <laughs> We still got um, Mama Goose. Well, she's not quite Mama Goose yet. Fingers crossed. But she's still in there. I, I really hope she hatches something. You're really oh, sad you're gonna, You better hurry. They're coming for you. Oh, she's hissing now. Hey, Mama, it's okay. Do we have anybody? Oh, she's... Nate. Okay. We might be getting close because now she's hissing. She's been hissing for two days. 
hissing and she was snapping at me. Okay. Usually she would let me pet her. Yeah, usually you could pet her. Yeah. Um, and then there's that big, huge nest that they made. Yeah, it's a huge They're nest. They're still laying. There's still at least one girl laying in there. Yeah. But I will say, despite the fact that they're a little bit more assertive towards us now, because they're watching their eggs, which yeah. is totally which is understandable. We knew that was going to happen. They're better with the chickens. I yeah. don't know if you can tell. Like yeah, they, don't they used to pick the on the chickens. In fact, one of the chickens goes in there and lays, and lays an egg with an her. Egg. Yeah, with her. <laughs> with her, as she's broody, and there's no issues. One of our Rhode Island girls does. So funny. So that's that's good because we were really nervous with the, you know, we we didn't introduce them to chickens correctly. No. In no, our first go, no, so we we're not. gonna try to do better if we have babies. All right, so then today we moved. Oh my goodness, that's just the cutest thing ever. Is that like adorable overload? It, really, it is just, it is. It's just adorable overload. All right, so we got a Rhode Island Red there, and I think this is a uh, cream leg bar. Uh -huh. Right there, we got a couple more Rhode Island Reds here, just in the corner. Uh -huh. Another cream leg bar. We got an Americ, we got quite a few Americanos with the poofy cheeks, like this one right here. The big old poofy cheeks. <laughs> There's 11 of them, Americanas. We got uh, some black Australorps right there. Oh, you're just so adorable. Oh, my <laughs> and then the sort of cochins. Uh, let's see if I can find a cochin. I'll just have to look for a fuzzy feet. Right, the black and gray ones in the middle here. Oh, okay. These little, these mm -hmm. little ones right there. Yeah, they're the this ones one right with the mostly gray on them, yeah. Oh my goodness, they are so cute. So, quite a few chicks in there, and then we still have chicks inside, um, some containers inside the house. Yeah, I moved out all the of the, totes. the purebred ones out here, and I left the barnyard mix, and I separated out the barnyard mix. Just because this is tons of room, they'll yes. be able to be in here for at least another week, if not two weeks, before I have to figure something out. So these are all ones that are available for, for purchase. Yeah, they are for sale. We didn't get a very big, um, actually we didn't get any hits for sale this weekend. Not, we? Yeah, not for the ones that weren't already spoken for. So I have a couple, the only request I got was for more fertilized eggs Okay. and for pullets like larger not babies mm. like once they're eight weeks and they're oh. feathered okay, well. so if we don't sell these that's fine i'll just let people know that it'll be obviously i have to grow them out and it yeah. won't be the same cheap price <laughs> right yeah exactly it's a little more expensive when you grow them out yeah or if they're ready to start laying yeah so today i did buy my first attachment your um, first implement for the trip i did um so i actually had to go into town and get the fencing supplies for the um, electric wire or electric fencing that I'm gonna put on our perimeter, perimeter fence. Uh -huh. So I got all of the high tensile wire and the clips and the chargers and all that kind of stuff. And I didn't realize that high tensile, high tensile wire is very heavy. So mm -hmm. I got three 2,000 foot roll, three 4,000 foot rolls and one 2,000 foot roll of high tensile wire. Wow. Wow. You know, words, hard. And apparently each of those, each roll is 150 pounds. So with three of them, there's no way I was lifting that. He decided he needed some forks. Exactly. So she, she, she jumped to the chase. I do. Yeah, you do. Um, so. That's what I'm here for. So instead of trying to unload everything by hand, I was like, you know what? I just couldn't go get those forks. So I got forks and I used them for my, for the very first time. It was pretty cool. Hi buddy. It definitely, a skill set to learn. Mm-hmm. Hi. Well, I don't know you just ate, but you don't get to kiss me. You ate some poopoos. You don't get to kiss me. This boy has been going underneath our hot wire all around the property, getting into that pig paddock over there, the old pig paddock. Mm -hmm. It would just slip right underneath. I guess I just had it too high, mm -hmm. and he could just slip underneath, and it would just, you know, brush That's the top of his fur. Yeah, exactly, and not and not get him. So I ended up lowering it. I think that was. That was that's what we did Saturday. That was Saturday. Yeah, I, I, that's when I almost died, and yeah. that's why yesterday I had to take it easy. That's right. Yeah. So Saturday we went around the areas that he keeps escaping, and lowered it lower to the ground two rungs, okay. and I think 
that evening he tried to go through them again and he got shocked and now he is no, staying away from the fence he's which is great yeah so he's now relearned that electric wire is not for him to play with you yeah. got to respect the electric wire and we did like a bunch of weed eating around it and stuff to really just get that amperage and those bolts hitting hard to make and to make sure yeah it didn't short out ground out yeah ground mm -hmm. out. yeah so that's what we did thank you Kinsley. Yeah, you need a good brushing, buddy. Yeah, everybody needs a good brushing. Kinsley and, and Levi are playing. Mm -hmm. I feel well, a lot more comfortable with them around each other now. And Yeah, we're not nearly as nervous as we used to be. Mm -hmm. Levi knows that she's the boss. Yeah, it just took a little while for him to accept that, mm -hmm. that he is low man on the totem pole. Yeah, except for the, the food. He still even growls at Winston, Winston yeah. when it comes to, comes to his food, so. Even if he doesn't want it. Even if he doesn't want it, he sits there and guards <laughs> it. Still it. is. Yeah, he sits there and guards it, but yep. he won't let anybody near it, so. Yeah. Well, I guess then we're gonna let Katie go rest because she's not feeling good. And, <laughs> well, you're not. And um, if she's not feeling better tomorrow, I'm taking her to the urgent care. I can't wait to see all the comments to take me to urgent care. Hey, you know what? Hey. It's, that's the way it goes. Comment down below. Hey, Nate, take Katie to the urgent care. Katie's the only one that reads comments. Uh -huh. So I'll be like, no, there wasn't any, honey. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Comment down below. Hey, Nate. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. We'll see you later. We'll see you tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. I, I don't know if I will. I might be at urgent care. You might care. be at urgent care, yeah. Right, take Bye. Care. Bye. <laughs> Hi, buddies. Look at all of you guys. They're good looking doggies. Mm -hmm.